640,000 square feet to accommodate some 2,000 prisoners, requiring 730 staff workers. The Edmonton Remand Center is scheduled to open next spring. If you exclude the uh, transportation like the Anthony Handy projects and, and hospital projects, which we is currently in our portfolio, this is the largest uh, project ever undertaken by Alberta Infrastructure. This is the largest remand centre or correction facility for that matter in Canada. Development and construction costs are projected to be just under $600 million using a system of building while designing the facility simultaneously. For about a year we had close to 650 workers on site, various trades. Yeah, so all trades. All trades. Uh, uh, the largest being our mechanical and electrical subtrades. Um, uh, we had 150 plus uh, subtrades or, or employees uh, with those two disciplines, mechanical and electrical, and uh, just everything in between. Melody Kodak is the Future Remand Center's program manager. This facility will keep more than three times the number of inmates than the current center downtown. A remand center houses anyone that is awaiting court or sentencing. We also house uh, anybody for minor fines or immigration holds. When we talk about the different levels of corrections, anybody that is serving less than two years goes in a provincial facility versus anybody serving more than two years is in a federal facility. Our average stay is probably about 17 days. So when they are here for their sentencing until the judge gives them their sentence, then we ship them out. So it is very temporary, although we do have people that can be here up to three years. It will include extensive use of closed circuit television for use in remand court, visitation, and general security. Those include video visitation, which is like using Skype or FaceTime to visit with inmates. We have almost 1,500 cameras in this center. Our security detention system is state of the art. Everything is first grade. Advanced and huge. It's just under 60,000 square meters of space. Uh, it, there's nine main buildings on site. There are five. Uh, general population pods, each of them has a, a bit 288 beds. There is one healthcare pod, there's one segregation pod, and there's a, a central administration building, and there's a utilities building. We've got 2,600 piles that are supporting the structure here. Um, we've got eight kilometers of gray beams that have gone down. So, yeah, uh, when, you, when you look at stuff like that, yes, this, this was large, and that's why it's, it took five years to complete. 570 million is our budget, and uh, we're very, we're tight, but we're close on that. It is pretty unique. It's very state of the art. Um, compared to other facilities, I like to think we're on the cutting edge. Completion is expected in fall of this year. Tim Dancy, Shaw TV Capital Region.